A group of Gold Coast students can claim a new title after breaking the planking world record. Over 500 children from Hillcrest College took part in the attempt. Students lay on the school's oval for two minutes to break the old record. The unusual event was partly a fundraiser, with each entrant making a donation to World Vision. More than $2,000 was Coming raised. Coming up, students trumpeting their talents and others attempt a new world record for planking. Finally tonight, the craze of planking has made headlines recently for all the wrong reasons. But today, a school group turned the tables on that, using safe planking as a fundraiser for those who need it most. Forget the usual sausage sizzle or free dress day fundraiser. It's all been done before, so we're trying to capture something new and fresh and uh, give the kids something to get excited about. The students of Hillcrest Christian College were planking to raise money for World Vision. A gold coin donation to participate, they're hoping to raise more than $2,000. And raise heaps of money for people in East Timor who are starving and malnourished. The focus is on doing it in a safe, supervised environment. Everyone was so excited because planking is something that everyone's been doing and now we can actually do it at school. It was nice to um, show that, it's, um, that you can do it safely and that you can do it for a good cause. And they're hoping to make it into the Guinness Book of Records. 700 people planking for two and a half minutes. There were adjudicators on site and an aerial photo to prove it. We send that to Guinness Book of World Records in the UK and they verify it uh, and then it's, it's all good. Next year's Guinness Book of World Records. Tessa Scott, Nine Gold Coast News. And all for charity, the world record attempt for planking. Students at a Gold Coast school have set a new world record. 541 children from Hillcrest College formed a safe planking chain on the school's oval. To claim the record, the students had to plank for two minutes. And one of the things we're wanting to achieve with young people is to not necessarily ban things because they're dangerous, but to get them to think about what they're actually doing. The event raised funds for World Vision.